Hi, I'm Savannah Randall and I'm a student at South Plains College in Leveland and I'm part of the Plains to the Baccalaureate program. My research is on whether traits under sexual selection differ with geographic isolation. I'm using a model organism, the Canyon Ruby Spot Damselfly, to examine this. As shown in Figure 1, there are two males. In Figure 8, there is one male. In Figure 10, there is another male. Canyon Ruby Spots are found in the streams of mountainous sky islands in the southwestern U.S. Figure 2 shows the southwestern U.S and the five sky islands. There are sexually dichromatic, meaning the males can be visually distinguished from females on the basis of colors. Their populations are geographically isolated by the intervening desert landscapes. In figure two, this is desert landscape, especially as we go up farther. In Kenyan ruby spots, the males have a red spot at the base of each wing, and they show those spots in aggressive displays to rival males and to prospective mates. In figure one, we have two males competing for a female, and it is seen that this top male has won the female. Thus, these traits are sexually under sexual selection and should differ by Sky Island. In summer 2020, we collected nine males from five sky islands in Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah, shown in figure two. We got one, two, three, four, five sky islands. The wings were digitally scanned and the wing spot size and color in terms of brightness, hue, and saturation. As you can see down here, the scanning process in figure five the resulting TIFF files were uploaded to the targeted Odonata Wings Project website, which automatically measured the wings and will return the resulting data to us. As shown in Figure 4, I am uploading the TIFF files to the website. This is a work in progress. Graphs of results will be added to the poster before the conference. I will be comparing variability in wing spot and color across sites to determine whether there are more differences across than within sites. As shown in figure six, the color of the red is much brighter than the color of red in figure seven. Anodectally, I can see differences in wing spot darkness across individuals. As stated, I anticipate there will be at least some differences across sites. The reason why I will see some differences is just by the naked eye, you can see these are much lighter than in figure seven. If I do not see any significant differences, then this signal is not under localized sexual selection. And the entire population of Kenya ruby spots is phenotypically panmetic. Canyon ruby spots first occupied the streams of the Sky Islands around 15,000 years ago when conditions were cooler and wetter. As you can see in Figure 2, you see how far this top Sky Island and this Sky Island are isolated from these. That proves that the conditions have gotten a bit drier. The Sky Islands have become increasingly isolated as the region has dried. In Figure 9, you see much less water, you see bushes, and just more land instead of streams or rivers. Climate change projections indicate a drier and hotter future for this region, which may further isolate populations and other organisms, as again stated in Figure 9. I want to thank you for listening to my presentation. Thank you.